got them nice. Hey, easy, easy, boy. Good boy. Good. Nice. Move. Come on. Hey, 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 time. Oh, boy, you all right, Billy? Oh, you looking good, kid. You. Hey. Why didn't you holler or something? You've been here long. Just a couple of minutes. He looks good, honey. Hmm? Yeah. Well, like they say, you ain't seen nothing yet. You got the semi-final wind-up. <laughs> <laughs> up, up, up. <laughs> hey, get your shower, baby. You're wearing that Chinese blouse again. Come on, honey. You know I don't like that. I love you, Vinny. Don't you know it yet? If you bought me ten blouses, what difference would it make? I wish he'd stay away from you, that's all. This is the way it started. A fighter, his manager, and a girl. It led to murder. The stories that shock a nation, move them, make them laugh, begin here. Like this one. Hello. I'm Paul Stewart. The first story was on the sport page of one of Portland's leading newspapers, the Journal. The fighter named Baby Joe Burns. He wasn't too smart, but he could hit. What happened turned a back-page sports item into horror on the front page. The byline, Eddie Reed, former sports reporter, now police reporter for the Portland, Oregon Journal. They're ready. They're rolling. The presses are rolling on deadline. Lovely girl, Vincent. Stay away, Captain. Oh, what are you afraid of? A little honest competition, huh? Oh, here's yeah, more my speed. What do you say we go off you, huh? You might get hurt, Captain. I knocked out guys my last five fights, so you better. Oh, ow, Joe! Wow. Is it broke? The watch is fine, but my wrist. You know, you're gonna grow up to be something, baby. You promised you'd get me one like that. Mm -hmm. Well, you win the crown, and maybe you can afford to buy one for yourself. 
I mean, if your manager will let you. Sure is a beauty, boy, oh boy. Hey, Captain, if you ever get drowned or anything, you can leave me that watch. <laughs> sure, Joe, sure. Uh, Jeannie ought to be decent by now. Captain! Front door out, Captain. <laughs> You're in my way, Vincent. I said good night, Captain. Now, why don't you get back to your ship before you get hurt? Yeah, he's a cocky little lightweight, huh? Oh! Boy, Vinny, what a shot. Come on, Captain, you're not hurt. Now, come on, get up. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is he hurt bad, Vinny? Vinny? He must have hit his head. I didn't hit him that hard. You know I didn't. Don't say anything. Hey, rough night, doll. What's happened? What's happened? <laughs> the captain belts a dozen shots and she says, what's happened? He passed out on his cold. Vinny, he looks... Oh, a... you'll have a head on tomorrow morning, that's all. Hey, look. Uh, look, you put in a long night. Now, why don't you just grab a cab and hit the hay as soon as you get home? Baby and I, we'll see that he gets back to his ship, huh? Are you sure he's okay, Vin? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's okay. Well, we'll take good care of him and wish him bon voyage. <laughs> night, Joe. Vinny, look, whether baby Joe makes it or not, or whether the captain gives me a hundred silk kimonos, makes no difference to me. You're my guy, Vin, and that's for always. Sure. Okay, I'll see you later, huh? In a little while. Thank you, sir. Hey, Vin. Man, he ain't even breathing. Give it here. Hey, Vin, I didn't do nothing. Give me a lot. Oh, why can't I have it, huh? Why can't I? He even said he you used to give it to me. Because he wasn't down here tonight. If he wasn't down here tonight, we couldn't kill him. If we didn't kill him, we can't have this watch. You understand that? I'm saying he understand that. Yeah. I'll grab his legs. What are we gonna do? Shut up and lift him up. Captain Thomas J. Anderson, age 35, 61, 180. Reported missing by first mate Andrew Parsons of the Flying Fin. I guess that does it, mate. We're sailing tomorrow morning. And we'll do our level best to get him back aboard. Not by finding that piece of paper you want. What do you want me to do, run out and start looking for him? Better than what you're doing now. Look, buddy, I've been rounding up AWOL. The man has and... never missed a sailing date in his life. And he hasn't missed this one yet. Hello, Ed. What can I do for you? No, I'll wait, Casey. Look, Sarge. This isn't routine. When a guy like Captain Anderson's late reporting, there's good reason for it. Look at this. Genuine Japanese silk. He picked up one for my wife, one for his girl. He left the ship last night with it. That's the last we saw of him. Well, who's his girl? He's okay. Ed Reed, police reporter for the journal. She's a singer in this waterfront cafe. I stopped by this morning, but it wasn't open yet. You must know the joint, the manager there, he's an ex-pod Vinny something or other. The uh, Vinny's place. I think so. And he was carrying a month's pay in his fancy platinum watch. All right, all right. We'll declare a national emergency. We'll get the Army and the Navy in on it, too. Very funny, Sergeant. What can I do for you, Ed? One. Oh, uh, nothing. I'll see you later, Casey. Someone I could trust Who would just love me only Now my heart has found its peace So 
will you drift on, never cease? Drift one, you will find your love. Hey, been a long time, Eddie. Congratulations on that semi-wind-up. Looks like you have yourself a good boy. Mm. Drink, Mr. Reed? No, no thanks, Paul. Say, Vinny, would you happen to know a Captain Tom Anderson, Merchant Marine? Eddie, awful lot of those characters hang out around here. Well, I've been told he runs around with a singer. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Eddie. Those guys get off those boats absolutely loaded and they like to throw their money around and give her a gift. They think they got an end. Nothing to it. Well, I guess now that I'm down here, I might just as well go and have a talk with her. Well, let me show you the way. She, she don't like guys just busting in on her. Is there? Mm -hmm. She'll be with you in a minute, Eddie. There's a reporter out there. I haven't got time to explain, but no matter what he asks you, just follow my lead. Huh? What's, what's, just what's wrong, my... honey? Please, please, honey, just follow my lead. She'll be right with you, Eddie. <clears throat> Jeannie, Mr. Reed here, he wants to know about, uh... Captain Anderson? Yeah. I told him that so many of those jokers show up around here, we have trouble telling them apart. The uh, name mean anything to you? Anderson? Last night. Some nights it's like the, the fleet's in in here, huh, Vin? Yeah. Last night there were at least a dozen uniforms here at the first show and at the last one. I don't recall a captain, do you, Jeannie? Not, not that I recall, no, Vin. Well, he was headed here, I guess he never made it. Well, thanks for your trouble. And good luck at the garden. Hey, yeah. keep your fingers crossed. All right, I will. What happened, Vin? Just don't look at me. Tell me what happened! I didn't mean it, I swear. I just hit him once. I mean it. I mean it, I swear. I, I just hit him once. I never even knocked anybody out in over 50 fights, but I, I killed him with one punch. Isn't that all I have? Isn't it? What are you going to do? You better get rid of this, Vin. That report will be back. Maybe the police won't be able to sell him next time. I only hope we sold him once. Case of the missing captain? Am I right in assuming that you guys have come to the belated conclusion that he might be dead? Eddie, you've been around this beat long enough not to be foolish. Lieutenant, I saw that kimono. If I'd seen it myself, we still wouldn't have a case. So stop beating your head against a wall. Lieutenant, he was down there that night. Now you know it, and I know it. And we might even get a jury to believe it. That much of it. But we can't even suggest murder, much less get an indictment, not without a body. Routine investigation case. Yeah, so tomorrow afternoon, the three of them hop a train for New York. And here in Portland, it's happy hunting time. We've questioned everyone in the club. Vinnie and the girl were in for four hours. We can't put them on a rack, Eddie. And baby Joe? <laughs> Village idiot with a good left hook. I don't even remember the night, much less who was down here. Oh, come on, Paul, give. The cop shows me a picture of a guy in uniform. I'm supposed to remember every uniform that comes down here? Have a heart. Is baby in his room? Must be down at the gym. I just came from the gym. 
Well, thanks a lot. You've been a great help. Oh, Jeannie, your agent called and said for you to call back as soon as you came in. Oh, uh, Miss Allen. Miss Allen. Leave me alone, can't you? I told you he wasn't here that night. I didn't see him. Look, if the guy's dead, I'm sorry, but well, What makes you think he might be dead? You know, nothing I can do to you is half as bad as what you're doing to yourself. He wasn't here that night. And he didn't give you the kimono. All right, have it your way. But when you get a chance, take a good look at yourself. This is a man, Miss Allen, a human being. Think about it. Dave? The bartender told me you called. Look, Dave, I... You set the New York job. I don't want it, Dave. I know what I said, but I changed my mind. I don't want it. I don't care about Vinnie going to New York, Dave. I... Look, get something else for me, will you? As soon as you can. Just working for me. If I was just your boss and nothing more, you'd give me two weeks' notice before you ran out. I can't take it anymore, Vin. You can't walk out on me, Jeannie. Then kill me, Shh. too! It was an accident. I can't sleep nights. You killed a man and I lied for you. All right, all right, all right. I hit a man and he died. You want me to burn for a mistake? Is that what you want? Is that how you love me? Don't forget you're in this, too. You lied for me. Take your hands off me and get out of here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. As God is my witness. All right. All right, you want to turn me into the police? Go ahead. If I had any guts, I'd do it myself. I never did have in that department. I could move, I could punch a little, but you hit me a good one, I fall apart. But don't leave me, Jeannie, please. Please don't leave me, not now. I couldn't stand it, not now. Please. Please. All right, Ben. Say that you love me. Say it. Stay, Ben, I'll go to New Say York. Say that you love me, please. Say that you love me. I love you, Ben. It'll be fine now. The baby wins Monday night. We're all set in New York. The garden. The baby wins Monday night. It's up, up, up. Huh? Huh, Jeannie? Up, up. Oh! Baby, baby, come on, move. What's the matter? Move, move! Come on, kid. Come. Where are you? Hey, loose, kid. Loose. Look. Time. What's the matter with you? Hey, Vinny, I just can't get loose. Okay, get the gloves off and get on the big bed. Come on, come on. got no call doing this to us, Reed. It's a public gym. <laughs> All right, get your licks in now. Comes Monday, you may have to haunt us long distance. Maybe I can arrange that, Vinny. Vin? I just can't get loose. Forget it. 
Does he know? Does he? Forget it, will you? I hit him. It's my worry. I helped you. I carried him. You got a fight to win Friday. If you win, we're setting New York, man. Think about winning. Vinny, when we go to New York, we ever gonna come back here? <laughs> Not in a million years. Well, what about him? The captain, I mean. Laying that away he is. Will you shut up about it? Now look. The reporter is dying to bend your ear. You get back to the place and stay in your room. I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't talk to him. Understand? Well, say. I should stay in my room. Hmm. Don't talk to anybody. like home away from home, isn't it, Mr. Reed? Yeah. you were Vinny. You wouldn't tell him, would you? <laughs> oh, no. This is strictly between us. Where you been running, baby? In the woods? Now, wait a minute. I think you'd better get out of here, Mr. Reed. Well, I mean, if Vinny catches me talking to you, it'll go bad on the both of us. He said not to. But why would he say a thing like that? You just better get out of here, that's all. Just don't get me mad. I hear the captain had $500 on him. Hey, you better stop that. You just better stop that. Vinnigan is saying now. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Vinny, you said we wasn't ever going to come back here again. You said we'd be in New York. Well, Vinny, I couldn't just leave it there, could I? I'll tell you one thing, Lieutenant. Baby never meant no harm. Him and the captain used to kid around all the time. Hey, yo, boxing like. Vinny. No, Vinny! Tell him, tell him it was baby. I, I didn't have anything to do with it. I did kill him. I did not kill him. Gee, tell him. Gee, tell him I didn't kill him. Gee, tell him. I guess you want to talk to me, too, huh? The story made two headlines, the front page and the sports page. The front page read, two men indicted for murder. And on the sport page it read, baby Joe Garden bout canceled. A moment of violence changed four lives. One man was dead. Jeannie Allen served a three-year term for complicity and was never able to resume her career as a singer. Baby Joe Burns received a seven-year term, then tried to pick up his boxing career. After three straight losses, he was forced to retire. Minnie Moran received life imprisonment. The former lightweight turned manager never scored a knockout in 94 fights until his last one. Freddie Reed, police reporter, was, as he said, a waste of four lives written to deadline.